is good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure 2021 leaks for you guys and this video would not be possible without my boy unstable 1047 christian over there link in the description below guys definitely go check him out this video would not be possible so we have a bunch of leaks here for you guys or a bunch of news coming for you guys as far as upcoming 2021 wwe elites and wwe action figures and it seems like some pretty interesting stuff coming forward that i'm really excited about and can't wait to get into it with you guys we got actually a pretty nice little list here and i did want to give a huge shout out to unstable because without him this video would not be possible and i wouldn't know any of this information so usually with leaks like this i feel like our track record is pretty good about these figures coming out you know i don't think we've ever been like super off it's always been in the ballpark and i can't think of a time when we were just completely off and it wasn't even close so i think that even if there's skepticism about these lists i think that there's got to be some truth to them and so i think these are some figures that we can look forward to getting in this upcoming 2021 year so let's go ahead and dive into it guys starting out first we have a new look at the brand new top picks line you guys know this has kind of shifted over the years uh it's been finn balor aj Styles. Seth Rollins Roman it's changed over to Ricochet we've included Braun in the past so I mean this this line has kind of bounced all over the place Rock has even been included so this year guys it looks like the new top picks line is going to be Drew McIntyre John Cena Roman Reigns and The Undertaker so The Undertaker is making his way over into the top picks line I do believe this is for both basics and elite figures going into 2021 so if this is for both basics and elites I guess I'm guessing that Drew McIntyre figure would have to be based on his elite 83 figure that's what I would guess John Cena we haven't really gotten a figure of him at all at least in the last few times every elite that we've gotten of him lately has been either a flashback or his Wrestlemania 35 gear where he came out as the Doctor of Thugonomics don't see that taking place again so maybe they'll have a new attire for him I'm not sure if it'll be a flashback or what the case will be there I highly doubt it'll be the lime green attire again like Jesus Christ I hope not maybe they'll finally make a full attire of the Super Showdown attire Roman Reigns hope to God it's an updated Roman Reigns maybe we're gonna get an elite eat upcoming of Roman Reigns that they can plug into there. We know that the recent top picks figure was his gold vest with the interchangeable smiling head sculpt. I'm hoping that our next Roman Reigns will be shirtless. It'll have the lay maybe. It'll have the universal championship. Maybe a shirt and a pissed off Roman head sculpt is what I would love to see with the nice faded beard and everything. And then for Undertaker, it could be the collector's edition Elite 79 figure. Christian mentioned that in his video and I'm thinking that's probably what's what it's going to be. Or actually the Elite 85 Undertaker from the Boneyard match is what I would guess this Undertaker is going to be, you know, kind of lining up there with that Elite 85 Undertaker, so maybe that will be the case. Next up, guys, our next news is going to be the next Ultimate Edition or an upcoming Ultimate Edition. It is going to be Hulk Hogan. So the Hulk Hogan, you guys know that we just recently got the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and now we're getting another Hulk Hogan figure in the Ultimate Edition line. Now, Christian did mention this as well. It could either be in the regular line where it's just a regular announcement or it could be in the Fan Takeover line. You guys know the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition figure. It's going to be, I think each set is going to have a Fan Takeover where it's voted on and then the regular version that will go hand in hand that Mattel picks. And we don't know if it's going to be, you know, a regular or a Fan Takeover, but hopefully it's a Fan Takeover and they give us some good options because I'd love to see. There's a lot of attires of Hulk Hogan that I would love to see. And his first Ultimate Edition was an absolute banger. So I'm not really... I'm not really upset about us getting another Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure. You guys know the Ultimate Warrior is also getting a second Ultimate Edition. I'm not feeling any ill will towards a Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition because I am all well ready for some more Hulk Hogan figures. Even though I'm not even a big fan of the guy, I'm just excited to get his figures, man. I mean, the, the sky is the limit here. Next up, guys, we're going to be getting into some new Elite figures. Now, this is a list of Elite figures that we should expect out of 2021. I'm going to give you my rundown of the figure, maybe some accessories that we can expect, maybe an attire. We don't have specifics on a lot of these but we are going to get into what I expect out of them. First up guys we have Sergeant Slaughter. Now for Sergeant Slaughter Christian mentioned that it's going to be from his Iraqi gimmick and then I would guess that it would be from like the early 90s of course and I'm guessing I guess it could be from the Legends line this could fit in there but I also thought about maybe it's going to be from the SummerSlam wave. You guys know that every year Mattel continues to do a SummerSlam themed elite wave in the main elite line. Years past we had Elite Series 68 the, uh, last year we had Elite 77. This year, I don't know what line it's going to be. Maybe Elite 86, 87, 88. I'm not entirely sure. But if that were going to be the case, then maybe this figure could fit into the SummerSlam wave and it would be from SummerSlam 1991. And that is what I would guess for this figure if it's not in the Legends line. So that is just my kind of guess on the Sergeant Slaughter figure. Next up, guys, we have a an Elite or two Elites here that kind of pair around the same time here. We have Asuka and Otis. So both Money in the Bank winners. I'm guessing that... 
Asuka is going to come with her money in the bank, and then Otis will also come with his money in the bank contract. And I'm also guessing that Otis will be shirtless, you know, around this time he was rocking the shirtless attire. He also won the money in the bank while rocking the shirtless attire. Also, his new upcoming basic is in the shirtless attire. So, you know, if you use context clues and everything like that, I really don't know how they're going to improve upon his head scan because his head scan from his Elite 76 figure was really, really good. Maybe they'll do like a weird, you know, like, like a Tucker head scan, you know, where he does his like Tucker catch first or he does something, you know, his craziness that he does. So maybe, I don't know what they could do for Otis, but I think that it will definitely be a shirtless attire, probably very similar torso to his Elite 76, but shirtless with the Money in the Bank briefcase and Asuka will be the same, I'm guessing, with her green misty eye makeup and then, of course, in her green attire for Money in the Bank with the Women's Money in the Bank contract. Possibly a Raw Women's Championship as well. We'll just have to see about that, how they pair those two together. And I'm guessing that both of these will be in the main Elite line. We'll have to see about that, where they plug those in. But I'm excited to see what Asuka looks like and Otis. We also have a brand new Warlord figure, guys. And you guys know that we've already seen an Elite Warlord. So I'm guessing that, guys, I would guess it would probably be in his Power of Pain attire. Christian also mentioned that maybe later on we can get the rest of the Powers of Pain. But for now, I'm guessing that is what the Warlord would be. I just don't see them re-releasing a Warlord figure. You guys know that back then we didn't have the True Effects head sculpt and everything like that. So I would guess that Warlord would get an upgrade and everything like that. And uh, maybe this will be in the Power of Pain attire. But Warlord is getting a new Elite figure. Next up is one that I'm really excited about, guys. We have Seth freaking Rollins. We have Seth Rollins. And there are a couple times or a couple things that they could do with this figure. My guess is that it's going to be in your standard black Monday Night Messiah gear. We haven't had an Elite in this gear. And it was his main look. For a while, you guys know that for a long time on television, he wore the Monday Night Messiah black gear with the silver and white with the Monday Night Messiah down the side. We also had a basic of this figure. I would guess there's a couple ways they could do this. They're either going to give him the Monday Night Messiah Seth Rollins shirt or they're going to give him the jacket, like a cloth jacket with the fur, similar to what we got with Io Shirai. It would be very, you know, it'd be tweaked a little bit to fit a male figure. They could do a lot of cool things with the cloth and the, you know, the fur jacket and everything like that. And then I also thought about what if they gave him interchangeable heads? So not only would he have the gloved hand and the non-gloved hand, but he could also do something where they do an interchangeable head sculpt where you have like your regular long down, you know, in match Seth Rollins with the nice hair and everything. And then you could also do a ponytail man bun head sculpt where he came out and cut all his promos so that is what I would guess maybe we'll get the cloth t-shirt with the two interchangeable heads I highly doubt you would get the shirt the jacket and the two interchangeable heads unless they just put all of their money from the line into that figure so we'll have to see about that but that is what I would guess for Seth Rollins is it would be the black Monday Night Messiah gear with the jacket and two interchangeable heads with the man bun or it would be the Monday Night Messiah t-shirt and we also know that Buddy Murphy's coming in Elite 84 and he had the uh, he is in the Monday Night Messiah gear so I'm guessing Seth Rollins will probably Probably be in Elite Series 85, possibly 86, and he will also match him with that t-shirt is what I would be guessing. Next up, guys, is going to be Apollo Crews. Now, for this one, this is obvious. This is going to be where he won the brand new U.S. Championship. This is exactly where this figure is going to go. It's going to be, this is going to be our first time in the line U.S. title. It just makes the most sense. We haven't had an, uh, we haven't had an Apollo Crews Elite figure in a very long time, so you, not only do you get to upgrade and update your Apollo Crews, but including the first time in the line of the new U.S. Championship, that will be what this figure is is what I can pretty much 100% guarantee makes the most sense to me and that works out there so Apollo Crews will be updated nice head sculpt I'm guessing his figure is really really underrated so I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun with that figure and then you have the brand new U.S. title that you can use there next up guys we have Matt Riddle now this one is very exciting the only thing I'm not excited about is the crappy formula that is going to be used again you guys know I'm not big on the torso the arms the legs are very weird it's just a very wonky looking figure hopefully when they do release this he'll maybe have a better head sculpt or a new head sculpt I'm sure that he will include his entrance jacket again hopefully he does at least or maybe even a cloth t-shirt would be cool but I'm sure he'll include his slides he'll include you know they're gonna do well in this figure hopefully besides the formula I hope they don't do the Kalisto arms but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna change that now and so that is pretty upsetting but hopefully it's a good attire hopefully he comes with a nice cloth jacket again and we'll have to see about that but Matt Riddle is next on the list we also have Tommaso Ciampa now this one's very interesting we haven't seen a Tommaso Ciampa Elite in a while. We've had two in the past. We had the Hall of Champions Target Exclusive. We also had the Elite 69, which is a really, really good figure. One of the best figures of the year. And now we have an updated Champa coming soon. Now, I'm guessing that it's going to be in his long tights gear. You guys know that for this majority of this year, he has been wearing the longer gear, the longer tights. And so I'm guessing it's probably going to be his camo gear 
possibly uh, the long black tights. We'll have to see. And I also thought about maybe they'll include like a helmet or the mask that he does for his entrance. Maybe an interchangeable masked head sculpt for Tommaso Ciampa. We'll have to see about that. But that should be really, really big right there for Tommaso Ciampa. Next up, guys, we have MVP. Now, this there's a couple of different ways they could do this figure. You guys know that his main gear has like the Punisher skull. Before he was with the Hurt Business, he had the Punisher skull on his gear in the red and black, which is a really nice attire. I'd love to see this attire made. But I'm pretty sure you cannot use this Punisher skull for trade, even though I've seen this logo is all around the South. Like, people who love guns, the police officers, a lot of people use this logo, and it's kind of become like this brand branded logo and I don't know if they're just paying Marvel a little piece of the pie like a little you know a little fee every time they sell a, a decal or something like that but maybe they could just do a generic skull but I'm guessing that it's not even going to be this logo I'm guessing that it would be a Hurt Business attire maybe one of his standard black you know black and gold or one of his black attires for the Hurt Business is what I would guess for MVP but an updated MVP should be pretty cool honestly I don't think I'd go with the same formula that they used for his older figures but they probably will you know I, I like the formula of those figures i just don't see them using the same formula but it's definitely possible right there for mvp next up is going to be braun Strowman. now this one's pretty obvious guys it's going to be a bald Strowman with the blue universal championship and probably going to be his shorter boot mold maybe they'll keep the same you know timberland boots that they've been using just the standard wrestling boots uh just to switch up not have to change up the formula that much it could be shirtless maybe the shirtless maybe a shirtless braun bald head sculpt black pants or maybe one of those camo gears maybe he'll come with an interchangeable shirt as well but i'm guessing bald head sculpt pissed off braun blue universal championship for sure for this figure and that is what we got for Braun Strowman is like that, that that's my best guess and then next up is going to be Becky Lynch which is a very surprising one Christian mentioned in his video that he didn't think we'd be getting a Becky Lynch I agree with that I just don't see Becky Lynch being a figure there but uh the only thing that I can think of is maybe her pregnancy announcement that is the attire that they could go with maybe her last appearance on WWE television uh it could come with like a briefcase the Raw Women's Championship you guys know that she handed over the title to Asuka so maybe that could be a thing right there and it would be in her uh, pregnancy announcement gear and everything like that and then the back of the packaging would be like Becky Lynch changed her career forever when she made this epic announcement on Raw or whatever the hell and then bam it would come with the briefcase Raw Women's Championship and then it would be in the gear that she was wearing or whatever attire she was wearing at that moment and then the last figure that we have for you guys is going to be Carmella and Christian mentioned that this is going to be 2018 and it's going to be the Chase variant in the set so it's going to be one of those later sets maybe coming up in the 80s you guys know we're on Elite 83 right now. At least that's the that's the set that's about to release. And then so I'm guessing one of these 80 sets is going to include Carmella from 2018. And she is the Chase variant. This is going to come with the Women's Championship, I'm guessing. And it's going to be in her like singlet with like the cheetah print and everything like that. Really cool attires around this time. Hopefully they give her a, a better figure than her last figure. Her last figure was kind of crappy to me. While the attire was really good, I feel like her updated Elite, maybe her head sculpt will finally be fixed. I feel like she hasn't really had a really, really good head sculpt. So hopefully Carmella's figure is a banger and we'll have to check that out when it comes. But Carmella will be the Chase variant and she will be based in her 2018 attire there with the SmackDown Women's Championship is what I'm guessing. But that is all of the leaks that I have for you guys here today for 2021 WWE action figures. Now again, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Unstable1047. Without him, this video would not be possible and I do appreciate him a bunch for getting us this information right here. And hopefully a lot of this is true. I, I like a lot of these figures going on. Not a lot of stuff on here that I don't like. I think I'm, uh, I approve of all this stuff right here. Of course, not everything's perfect. You know, another brawn, but you know, we need our updated bronze. I know that I've done the customization to it, but seeing an updated Braun Strowman will be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, before we get out of here, I gotta get into the random shout out from yesterday's video. And this comment is pretty good because I didn't even think about this, guys, but from our worst figures of the year video yesterday, Dylan Bowman? 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 I think it's Bowman. Dylan Bowman says, here's the funny thing. Mick Foley was last year's bad WrestleMania figure, but this year it's Edge, and they're both from WrestleMania 22 in the same matchup. And I didn't even, that didn't even cross my mind when I was thinking about that, because one of the worst figures of the year last year was the Mick Foley figure. You guys know I had the crazy looking head sculpt. It looked really absurd. And then this year, same thing for Edge from the same exact matchup. I thought that was absolutely insane. I want to give a huge shout out to Dylan for pointing that out, because that didn't even cross my mind until I read his comment. So huge shout out to Dylan for that. Thank you so much, man, for that great comment. Huge shout out to him, guys, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the leaks down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. And don't forget to don't cross that line. You cross the line, I've been